Here at Gilded Racing, we specialize in the restoration of classic Mini Coopers. But we don't just restore them, we make them insane. So, we offer the ability to have multiple engine conversions. We're really known for our swaps, uh, which is where we take a more powerful modern engine and we replace the older engine with the new one and uh, offer air conditioning and better brakes and more reliability and better performance. Um, so basically what we're doing is making the classic mini resto mod, uh, which we call the Super Cooper. And we have three models of Super Coopers, the classic, which is your 60s variant of the mini. And uh, you can tell it has a little different look to it with the hinges on the outside and a couple other cute little differences from the Sport, which is our other model, uh, which is usually found with 13 inch wheels and roll up windows or power windows, things that we offer. Um, that's the main difference between the two cars. Same engine configurations you can put in both of them, but let's come to the next point here. That, the Type S. It's a different beast altogether. It's a rear engine two seater and uh, we're able to put a much more powerful engine in the back. We've found that even in cars like this, it's pretty easy to drive, and uh, this thing actually has 500 plus horsepower. And I've driven it a bunch, and I can tell you it's nice to drive around, doesn't overheat, and it's just a great car. Um, and that's really, really why I'm doing this. I've, I've always loved the Mini Cooper. I've, I think they look cute, and I think they're hilarious, and that's my thing. I, you, you don't feel like an asshole when you're driving around one of these things. You feel like kind of like a comedian and in a timeless little fun little toy but the problem with the old cars is they they just suck they they break down all the the stuff and it's not like modern things the freeway like driving on the freeway sucks because they can't go that fast the gearing's not there they only have four speeds so we just take the old engines and we put them in a pile over in the other room and if anybody wants one we got plenty as far as these cars are concerned, what we do is we will take an Acura or a Honda Civic engine or even the new Ford Focus EcoBoost motor and we'll fit that right in the front, make it look just like the original Mini with whatever kind of design cues you ask for. And we make it like something you could drive every day. And we take it from say 30 horsepower, which is what that came with. And now it's about 170 horsepower. Um, and likewise with the sport um, but you can also get you know crazy with it if you if you want something that is more performance focused like like a drag race monster or, or just something that'll whoop that thing that will and uh, people are like oh how fast is the super cooper s and i'm like well let's just say it's a mini cooper which weighs about 15 to 1700 pounds and has 500 plus horsepower at the rear wheels. That is ridiculous. It's it's like the Veyron power to weight ratio and fun as hell to drive. I've, I've done a whole bunch of drag racing with it. It is just a, a hoot. But you can also just drive it around. I could drive that right now to New York and it'd be comfortable because it's an Acura CL sedan engine with a supercharger. It's, it's not some viciously tuned monster. It's just a big engine for, in a little car, which my favorite thing you know it's it's what uh, John Cooper did so we're basically following his footsteps building Cooper's only super and I think if he was here today he would probably give us the nod and say hell yeah throw an eco boost or a VTEC in one of these minis I got you I think I think he would have loved it so anyway I love doing this and I, I love building these cars and, and I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope uh, if anyone's interested look us up uh, supercoopers.com and uh, place an order. We'll build you one. That's what we do.